Hi, my name is Tomáš and in this video I will show you my scroll rect class with item snapping. First when I needed such a class I was searching through internet and I found uh, this uh, Unity extension pack at Bitbucket and here is, uh, here is class horizontal scroll snap class. According to description this class was what uh, actually I was looking for but unfortunately I didn't manage to make this class work, so for this reason I decided to make my own. Here is the final result. If I run the project, you can see I have here some images. These images are from our uh, former games, Fruidating is puzzle game, and Woodventure is uh, our new Mahjong game. As you can see, I can swipe from image to image by uh, dragging mouse or uh, I can swipe this finger on mobile device. Next feature is this set of small uh, indicators uh, which indicate uh, screen I am currently on. You can also use uh, buttons for, uh, for switching screen to next or previous. If you press it you can see we are scrolling from item to item. Uh, this video will not be about source details because the source is quite a simple 300 lines of code and you can download it from link in description uh, under this video. This video will be about setting the, uh, setting the parameters of this class, how to use it so you can use it in your projects and uh, one more feature uh, we will see we will see through, through this video is that it can uh, it can create not only horizontal snapping but also vertical snapping very easily by pressing two or three buttons so i will start new blank scene here Okay, I will delete the skybox and I will add UI panel and will set our canvas resolution to 800 by this. So this time we will create a scroll snap, uh, scroll snap uh, component in portrait mode. Ta uh, so here we have a blank uh, panel component and here is our scroll snap rect. We will, uh, we will drag it as a child component of this panel. So I will create empty uh, empty game object and will drag and drop this component to this empty object. As you can see not only scroll snap rect uh, component was added but also scroll rect, mask and image. Uh, these components were added automatically because it is uh, it is a required component in our script. Uh, we will set the size of our scroll rect and now uh, we will create next child uh, empty game object and I have already prepared some images we will put there. These are the images we will list through and these images are from our other older games Shards to Brick Breaker and Flagellal Smash. So now we have parent scroll uh, scroll snapped uh, snap rectangle uh, component 
we will call this object scroll snap. We have container with content we will uh, we will uh, uh, we will scroll through. So let's call it container. And here at scroll rect component we have to say where is our content so we will drag and drop our container into content. Uh, we are creating horizontal scroll snapping so we uncheck vertical and leave only horizontal checked. This is minimum for our for our uh, scroll rect to work. So if we run the project Great. We have already the component we needed. So now we will enhance it, enhance it a little. We will add some uh, UI image. We will put this image below our scroll scroll snap rect. And we will get, give it some nice background. Uh, next, we will not display the mess graphics, and we will run the project again. So. It works like this now. Next we will create one more empty container, empty game object which will work as container and this container will uh, will contain small icons that indicate uh, which screen we are currently on. So we will create UI images here. We need as many images as many screens we have so I will duplicate this image to have six, six of them now I will drag this icon of unselected image there and move it somewhere here and I will do the same for the rest empty icon move native, native size empty icon move native size and last one I will now I will go to scroll rect snap component and here I will set our container with these icons and I will also tell this component uh, how da, uh, how does uh, unselected uh, unselected page looks like and how selected these two sprites now if I run our project we can see here a set of small icons and as I slowly will swipe from one image to another you can see that it indicates which image is currently active if I j uh, now release mouse it steps to the second image I can still change with swiping Now we will add next two objects which will be buttons. We don't need text for this button, I will delete it and duplicate it. And now I will set images for these buttons. This 
this will be our next button and this will be our previous button let's change scale to minus one two point in the right direction and again I will go to scroll snap rect component and tell it which of our buttons is next and which is previous now if I run our project I can scroll from image to image using buttons and also using swipes so now here we, we have comple complete scroller to snapping which is working in horizontal direction and what if we want to change it to work in vertical direction it is very easy here I only uncheck horizontal and check vertical if I run it you can see we can now scroll with snapping vertically again icons here are working maybe just for fun we will rotate the container with these small icons run the project and see first page is marked as active and as we scroll next page is marked as active and so on here is one feature one feature more uh, we are using mask the mask is mask, uh, masking this area of scroll rect uh, scroll rect component and we can for example use some image as a mask here if I display the mask you can see here are some uh, some T's on the top and bottom and when we run our project now you can see the images are masked with these T's or you can make some border for the, for the mask and click show mask graphics and then your player will see the mask on the screen so this is all you can download the source for the component which is one simple C sharp script uh, the link is in description below this video and thanks for watching bye